Welcome to Investment Talk Only with Johnny Ruiz. It's time to get to the money. It's Investment Talk Only. If you say you got the money, gotta show me. A lot of people talk, but that be phony. I just remember what Yo, Jerry what's Mac good? Welcome me. to Investment Talk Only. This is Johnny Ruiz. Got my co-host, Monique. What up? What's up? So what's we got an explainer today. I know. I'm excited for yeah, it. So I didn't know this, but apparently like this is like a a fan favorite, I guess. I you know what? If I you know wasn't in the podcast or whatever, it would be my favorite too, because I feel like it's just like bam, it's more like technical, I guess you could say. It's like straight to the point, you know, targeted, like a targeted yeah. you know, training, I guess you can say. Yeah. And you just like if you're like, I want to know about this, you go straight to it. Exactly. And then that's it. So yeah. So I think that's why people like it. Like, like they just learn something straight to the point versus a, mm-hmm. a whole discussion. But a lot of people like the discussions too, because there's like a whole bunch of gems in there versus just like one big gem in the whole video of uh, explainer. So yeah. uh, basically, on, before we, we a, start, uh huh. I, I like your curls. Oh, thank you. Looking real puppy chulo ish. There's a request <laughs> from uh, my wife, so so I, I like to, uh, So I had to, you know, concede to her. You know, <laughs> she wants happy wife, happy life. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, funny. But but yeah, the um explainers uh we haven't done one in a while and like people were like, mm-hmm. Hey, looking forward to the next one. Like they're like hit me up, like, you know, give me like little That's good. Yeah, like, when you gonna do the next one. So uh thought we'd do one on um on the gaps today actually. Uh so do you know what gaps are? Besides the one in people's teeth? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different concept. Basically the same concept. Okay. Different concept. Uh same same concept, but used differently in the stock market. So gaps are just uh, points in the chart where a stock doesn't trade. So it say it closed one day at a hundred dollars and then the next day it just opens up at $110. So all if a hundred oh. to 110, it didn't trade that. So it's a gap. And what do you mean? Okay. It didn't what? trade. So it's like one of those things like, so there's been times like I woke up and I, I'll look at a chart and you'll see it down and then all of a sudden it's just up and i'm like what happened yeah you're talking about like the down? next day yeah the next day yeah so that's that's a gap oh. so it could okay. either go up or down and so gotcha. uh, this usually happens like anytime a news breaks and usually usually news breaks overnight after the market uh closes so it could be like uh, a company upgrades the stock or earnings uh, which was better than expected or worse than expected, and mm-hmm. then and then you see that jump in there. Okay. So uh, since this is explained, of course, you know I'm I'm gonna share my screen. So okay, do real quick. To you. All right. All right. So I wanted to uh, show you an Nvidia because this one has been moving, and we actually like profited off of Nvidia this last week, and I, I've been calling it out. So um, they actually had a gap. So I'm pretty sure you can uh, you could point out where the gap is, right? Yes. Is uh, that the long? Wait. It's the one where. Yeah, if you right think there. about this area, that's what it is. Yeah. So a few things. I know how to explain it. Yeah, a few things to point out about the gap, right? So it closed um, at this area down here since it was a red day, and it jumped up all over here, but mm-hmm. it traded in this area throughout that day and then just gapped up so this whole area is gap where it didn't trade at and but the thing is how does it not trade if it's overnight that's a great question i'm so glad you asked that great question <laughs> i really you know this I, re- I this is not a plan guys like, i really i just i really be wondering yeah All right, go ahead. that's a great yeah i know yeah this is that's authentic for real so uh there's something called a market maker and they have uh, stocks in their inventory. They work for the uh, brokerage or uh, or exchanges, and they mm-hmm. their job is to keep the market liquid. So that means that uh, if somebody wants to buy a stock or sell, they want mm-hmm. they, they have to make sure that someone's on the other side to make that transaction. They have to keep the market liquid. All right. Mm-hmm. So in this case, on this day, Nvidia had earnings. Like I said, gaps up, gap gaps. Are usually caused by some type of news so this one was earnings and mm-hmm. since, since they blew out their earnings 
the market maker anticipates more buy orders. And so he's going to mark that price up. Okay. All right. And that's the opposite. If, if they had bad sales or bad news, they would anticipate sell orders. So mm. they'll, they'll uh, put the gap uh, it down. They'll drop it down. Exactly. Okay. So, so is this kind of like um, the supply and demand effect? Like when they see like there's, you know, a lot of demand or a lot of supply. They exactly. just kind of adjust it. Exactly. Okay. And so, so yeah, that, so that's what the, it's the market maker that's doing it. So it's not like uh, big money institutions, like overnight buying. It's the market maker that has a, a, a big uh, influence on, on the gaps. All right. Mm. So the thing okay. about gaps is there's a thing called a gap trap. And so basically somebody sees the gap, you know, on their phone right before the market opens and say, oh my God, like this price is going up. I need to jump in. Mm-hmm. And then more often than not, the gap closes within the first hour of trading. Okay. So that's a gap trap. It gaps up, people start buying, and then a sell-off comes in, and then it just goes down. And so when we say the gap closes, that means that the price comes back down to about the same area that it closed the previous day. Mm. So is this one of those things that, and this, this is just me reaching... You know the quote, um, buy the rumor, sell the hype. So you have this rumor that something's happening, blah, 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 blah. So then they open the next day, there's a gap, like increase or whatever. So like everybody's jumping in and people who already are in, right? So say I have, and I'm I'm not even gonna use that. You already know what I'm gonna say, the S one. I'm not even gonna say that. I'm gonna say something else. So say it's like, I don't know. Amazon or whatever, and I, and I have like a whole bunch of stock in Amazon and something happens and there's a gap up. So everybody's trying to jump in and I see everybody, I'm like, ha, huh, and I just, I sorry, I just sell exactly. a whole bunch of stuff. Like I'm yeah. like, ha, like y'all just got caught. Yeah, that's that's gap trap one-on-one right there. Like you buy, the, you buy the rumor, sell the hype or, or whatever mm-hmm. and everybody starts buying and that's when you start selling. So actually okay. that's a reason why the gap closes is because now everybody's trying to jump ship and now you're just taking your profit selling as long mm-hmm. as as well as everybody else and then the the price just starts dipping so i i pointed out in the video because uh in their chat it, it was it went up to like 346 the price mm-hmm. and like i said regardless of the time it doesn't matter usually the gap closes and I said, hey, wait, wait for it to come down to about where it was, about 305 to 310, and that would be a better entry. And what did it do? Um, so this is like the 310 area. It hit 310 twice mm. and it jumped back up because it wanted to close the gap. Even though it spiked all the way up, it wanted to get closer here. Um, I'll, I'll give you another example. So we got Visa. Isn't that the one that's been getting hit the past couple yep. of days? So we have a gap right here mm-hmm. and then another gap right here. And if I, if I, if I told you, and so this is the opposite way that most of the time the gaps gets closer, close, uh, the gaps get closed, uh-huh. then it will be a good idea to find a support area and get in right there because this gap has to be closed, you know, and this gap has to be closed. Not saying that it will hundred percent, but usually most of the time that does happen. Mm-hmm. So now we can get a, uh, so it went down to 195 and this area is 210, 212, 215. Mm-hmm. So you have that profit, uh, profit uh, probability, that, that risk reward that is, it, it's in your favor mm-hmm. just because of that concept. Nice. Very nice. And then there's a one more. Okay. Let's look at this one. So this is a new one. Review. So. Quick question. Uh-huh. How do we, are these just like random? Like, is there a way to indicate when you know there's going to be a, a gap? So is it like one of those things that you watch the news and you kind of see what you like, you're involved kind of on what's going on. Um, and then like earning reports that like keep up to date with what the earning reports are and stuff. Yeah. So uh, uh, the most popular one is earnings okay. uh, and that's, that's scheduled. So you can keep up with that. And then the other one is uh, when analysts, rate their uh they they uh re- revise like their opinion on a stock so they could either change it from 
sell to buy or buy to sell or mm-hmm. buy to hold. Anytime mm-hmm. something changes like that, you know, that's a, it's called a binary event. Mm-hmm. And that, that means like somebody, the market has to react one way or another. Okay. So the binary events, kind of like the Fed meetings, um, those those tend to like switch things a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, so um, yeah, events like that, earnings or um, their an- analyst ra- or ratings. Cool. So uh, this is a, a last one. Um, is Rivian. So this is the uh, a, a competitor in the, the Tesla space, the uh, elect, electronic uh, electrical vehicles uh, space. Mm-hmm. So you could see that it just because uh, everybody was you know real excited about it rose up, and it has some gaps over here, over here, and what to do? It closed the gaps. Closed the gaps. Mm-hmm. So like I said, more times than not, the gaps get closed. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Okay. So I, like I honestly never knew what the, that was. So I'm I'm glad we're doing this this morning because I remember like I see it, you know what I'm saying? Because I have thoughts on you know, like I'll look at the charts or whatever, and I'll be like, I I just didn't know. I'm like, how the hell did it open like that? Like, how did it go from here to here? And I would be like, damn, I missed it or whatever, you know? Yeah. And, and then I like, like day trading, uh, I would oh, be yeah, that person. Trading. Like, so I used to do the gap. I used to get caught in the gap trap. Now I know what it is. Before I didn't mm-hmm. know what it is, but I know that I should, like, I just knew what, I ain't doing that no more. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, but I never knew why or, or what it was. But I was that person because I was new, I'm new or whatever. And so I would be like, all right, I'm like, oh, it's going up. I need to jump on it before it, whatever. Yep. And then it will be like, and I'm like, oh my God. And I have to jump out and I'll be mad at myself because I'm like, oh, I, so I've lost money doing doing that and so, i just told myself okay obviously i can't do that anymore yes yeah, so, so two things to remember is uh one gaps usually close no matter mm-hmm. how long they take it could be uh, days or weeks whatever they usually close okay two they usually close within the first hour so okay. if you're trying to buy it open never buy it open just okay. never buy it open yeah a good entry point is to uh um, is considered the, the close of the previous day. So just wait till it's come down that area, buy there. Okay. Uh, so for okay. example, like somebody like me that's on the other side, right? If I have a stock and I, something happens, the company comes out this amazing news, they like, they're doing whatever. And I, I wake up one day and my account is just like, like it just, it gapped up and I'm like way up and me as person, I just sell. So I'm like, yo, I just, and then all those people who jumped in within that first hour, I caught them. Like yeah. I got all their money gap because trap. I was already had you it. You participate in the gap trap. Yeah. And then, so with I'm that hoping. tactic <laughs> as a seller, I sell. And then you're, would you say jump back in once it gets back down to whatever it was originally the day before? I mean, it just depends. I don't know. It depends on what the news was, but a yeah. lot of times that, um, that closed area where I said it's a good entry, a lot of times mm-hmm. that would be a, a support level now. Mm, okay. So, so uh, yeah, it just depends, but sometimes it could smash all the way through, but you just have to see if it's a, a support level. Oh, so, okay. so you know, another thing that's, uh, that's crazy. So these uh, analyst companies, mm-hmm. uh, the investment firms that do the ratings for the, uh, the stocks. So mm-hmm. they'll, they'll say, oh, this stock is gonna outperform in the next 12 months. And so, of course, that creates buying interest. So yeah. it will gap up. And then if you look at the level twos, who's selling, a lot of times mm-hmm. it's that company selling their stock. Mm. That created all the buying interest. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you got to be aware of these things out here. It's so crazy. It's like I was watching, I seen, I think, I think it was like the Wall Street Trap or whatever. And he had posted something and he was talking about, like he was literally re- relating the stock market to the streets like he was and i the crazy part is even though i'm not from the streets like i understand i feel like i'm a really street smart just you know our family and growing up or whatever and i understood it and i was like i can relate to what he's saying like he's like don't go to this corner don't go to that because Mm -hmm. like the way he was talking and like the way you're talking right now it's like oh it's a trap like don't do this or don't go there and like when you start thinking like that and start because a lot of people are like, I don't understand it. I don't under, 
like, I don't understand the language and how I'm like, but once you just take it and kind of convert it to what you understand, the way you understand it, like it becomes so simple. Exactly. Like, the hardest part is the language, but just yeah. like interpreting it into the way that, you know, like now, now, like I knew that was bad. I just didn't understand it that much. Exactly. Right? And, and, and that stuff, it, it loses a lot of people money. Yes. And like, you don't even I know did. the concept. You didn't even know that it was a concept. But exactly. You lose money most of the time because you didn't know the concept. Exactly. I just knew like now nah, I ain't doing that again. But now I'm like, nope, that's a gap trap. Like I now I understand it and I'm like, oh, I know what they're trying to do. I know who, you know, I already know what's gonna happen. Like yeah. you don't really know what's gonna happen, but you kinda of have like a you know, you predict like don't go over there. There's a fire going on. Exactly. Exactly. So that's uh, dope. I, I love I love when we do these and I don't know what's going like I don't know what you're talking about. Like we were yeah. like, oh, we're gonna do an explain on gaps. Like before, I used to try and like Google stuff and you know try to you know. But now I'm like, nope. I want this to be strictly authentic, and I get so excited. I think you have like my original reaction, how excited I am because I'm like, yeah. oh, Well, now it's all making sense. The puzzle pieces are all coming together. So. Yep. So that was another explainer. Um, we're uh, be ready for the next one. Until then, I'm your host, Johnny Ruiz, Monique. All right, I'll see you guys. I'm Monique. Peace.